Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video I'm going to be talking about my Milwaukee pack out boxes. I've got five mods for you that I've done on my boxes that hopefully you find useful for yourself as well. Some of these include a vise on the front here where you can slide on and off nice and easy. I've got tough built clips here that you can just slide on and off and mount it to the box. On the side here I've got some Milwaukee drill bits. Again, easy, accessible. On the bottom here, at the back, I've got some adjustable pins that I've put in. And what these allow you to do is slide the handle out nice and easy if you're tight on space. And I've also got a few other tips and tricks for you in the video. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? Modification one. So the first modification is going to allow us to remove the handle quickly and easily. So what you want to do is remove the two screws, one there and one there. And then this will allow you to just slide out the handle. Next grab yourself a 4mm drill bit and enlarge the holes, so you just want to drill them out. Next what you need is a 5mm tap, you typically get these out of tap and die sets and what this allows you to do is thread a 5mm hole. And then go ahead and tap another 5mm hole in the other side. So now that we've threaded the 5mm holes, we've got a 5mm index plunger pin that we're going to use to thread into those holes. So all you need to do is just turn them in, screw them in, and then just use a 7mm spanner to tighten them down all the way. And again do the same on both sides. And then you can slot your handle back in. And then push the plunger pins back into the hole, which will lock the handle in place. So just to show you how quick and easy it is to do, I'll just demonstrate here. Just the pins, take the handle out, and it's a lot easier to store the boxes if you tight the space. And then go ahead and put the handle back in push it all the way down, adjust the pins and then pull the handle back up and you can see them snapping back into place, back into the holes there and the handle is locked and secured. Modification 2 so this mod is going to allow me to store my tough built accessories onto my Milwaukee pack out boxes. So first thing you want to do is knock the pin out of the tough built clips. So I'm just using the vise to hold it in place here. Hammer down on the pin until there's enough protruding out of one side. Retighten the clamp and then you can pull the pin out. Just like that. And 
and then grab the back of the clip. You want to screw it into the top of the box there. And then the second screw goes in. And then just make sure you've tightened it down with a screwdriver. it's on firmly then get the top half of the clip place it back over get your pin push it through and then just knock it in with a hammer and it's as simple as that Now it's also possible to attach the clips to the aluminium bar, so you've got a screw at the top there and then one at the bottom. So take those two screws out and then the aluminium bar will just slide straight out. The disadvantage to doing this though is the accessories sit a lot lower. So while your boxes are stacked up, the accessories sit on just fine. But if you were to take that top box and try sitting it on the floor, as you can see, it protrudes below the floor level, which means you can't sit the box flat on the floor with the clips on the aluminium bar. Whereas if you've got them a little higher up, like where I've mounted them, then the box will sit flush on the floor. Modification three. So these are the Milwaukee Packout feet and they just slide in on the top of the Packout and what these allow you to do is attach accessories to them and then they'll slot in on top of the box. So what I've got here is a scrap piece of MDF just to demonstrate how to attach the feet onto a piece of timber. So you want to place them in position the feet, then what I do is get a piece of paper and then what you want to do is take the piece of paper to the box because you don't want the paper moving at all. Once you've done this grab a pencil. and then you want to lightly pencil over where those feet are and this will just give you a nice outline of where them fixing holes are so this method will give you the proper spacing Then what I do is get a piece of paper and attach it to the piece of wood or whatever it is that you're attaching it to. Again tape it down so the paper doesn't move and now with it all nicely stenciled out you can see where you need to put your drill holes. So just drill the holes out one by one. Like that. And then I've just put a red marker around the holes just so you can see it a little easier. And then where your drill holes are, just screw in the pack out feet. And just do this for each one. Okay, so now that we've done that, 
just turn it over and check that they slide in all right. As you can see, they slide in pretty well. And just to demonstrate how strong a fixing it is when it's slid in, you can pick the whole box up without any issues. So this technique allows you to add on any accessories you want. For example, I've got a few pack out feet on the bottom of this vise, and then you can slide the vise onto the top of the boxes, and it slots on pretty nicely. And I'm sure there's many different ideas you could come up with. Personally, I think this use of a vise is quite a good idea. So yeah, this is a great way of attaching different accessories onto your Milwaukee Packout boxes. Modification 4 So the next mod we're going to do is attach some Milwaukee battery holder clips to the inside of this box here. Now there's four factory holes with this box that we're going to make the most of and I've just circled them here so that you can see them. I'm going to drill two more holes here to help us attach our battery clips. So I'm just going to use a punch here to put a dent in the box where I want to drill. Which is right on the cross member which is the thickest part. And then I get my drill, this is a 2mm drill bit and I just drill into the box. Make sure you don't drill too far. Then I get a piece of paper and a pencil and I just colour in where the holes are. This will give me a template to use on the battery holder clips in a moment. Now just drill out the two holes. Line the top holes up with each other, flip it around and then you want to mark the bottom hole like that. Then use a punch again and then drill out the hole with a 2mm drill bit. And as you can see there, the holes line up perfectly. And then you can get your screw and screw it into the bottom hole. And now the top hole. And then nip it up with a screwdriver. There's also an alternative way to fix in these battery clips onto the box and I'm going to cover that now as well. So what you can do is you can actually thread the hole instead and then use a machine screw to screw it in. So here I've got a 3.5mm screwdriver tap and I'm just going to thread this in about 20mm. Then get your electrical screw which again is 3.5mm and you can just screw it into the box like that so that's two methods you can use to fix the battery clip onto the box you can either just screw it in with regular screws or you can use 3.5mm electrical screws and just make sure that you tap it in with a 3.5mm tap first. And then on the other side of the box I've got some 25mm screws that I screw in 3 quarters of the way. And as you can see now that the job's complete, we've got some battery holders on the left hand side and then on the right hand side 
we can slot our Milwaukee charge on that side. Modification 5. So here I've put my Milwaukee shockwave drill bits on the side of my pack out boxes. Just a quick and easy way to get to your accessories. So what you want to do is drill out some holes, 3mm holes. And then mark out the positions on your box. Get the 3mm drill bit and drill out the holes. And then push the 3mm screws through the hole. Thread on the 3mm nuts. And get your ratchet. And this is a 5.5mm deep socket I'm using here. And just ratchet the nut down. Driver holding the machine screw on the other side and then I'm ratcheting it down on this side. Then what you want to do is get your hacksaw. Just cut the screws off flush. And then get a file and file it down just so it's smooth. And the grooves in the box seems to be a perfect place to put these Milwaukee Shockwave boxes. And that's what it looks like once it's finished. Right then, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.